So sometimes you might want to add videos to your websites. And nowadays we see a lot of videos in almost all websites. Let's see how we can add a video to the website. For example, if we click on this add button and we scroll down to the media section here and we will find this small video element here. If I click and drag and drop this into my container, you can see here I have two options. One is to provide URL, a link to the video or a title to the video. This video element works as a placeholder. So if you have a link from any platform, for example, Vimeo, YouTube, or other platforms, Dailymotion, you can get that video link, which is embeddable, and put it here. And it's going to preview that video here, and you can play and work with it. I have a video link of my own videos, and I'll just uh, paste it here. And if I click here, and then you will see it's already automatically going, going to get a title from there, but I can also change that title. And you can see this is a video. I can close this and I can play this video. I can work around with this video. If I go to the preview mode, if I click on this, I can play this video right here. But you can see there are a lot of options here and it clearly says that this is a YouTube video. So if I remove this element, from clicking here and clicking the delete button or backspace button here. If I go to the add section and there is an other video in the media area, for example, YouTube. So Webflow offers you two kinds of video elements. One is the simple video element in which you can add any kind of video from any platform, but one is specifically for YouTube. The specialty of this video element is a little bit different. For example, this is first, you can only put YouTube videos. For example, if I put a video here, it's going to take uh, the video here and uh, uh, I don't know why it's saying invalid link, but we can resolve it. We can put a title here. We can give it a specific starting time. The other options we get is we can mute the video. We can autoplay the video. We can sh choose to show or not to show the players. For example, if I close this and now if I play the video, it's not going to show the players and video is auto playing. If I get back to my canvas, one more thing you can see, we can enable privacy mode and many other things, many options, which is specifically for YouTube videos. So that's the difference between these two elements that Webflow provided us. And this is how we can add videos to our Webflow website. That's it for this video. See you in the next video.